Hi, welcome back. We're going to do episode number 18 of Superstore Season 3. It's called Local Vendors Day. Do a Superstore ever invite local businesses? That's what it sounds like it might be. I did the last one about five weeks ago, by the way. I had an accident, so I haven't been able to do any um, reactions. Nothing too serious, just a broken bone. And yeah, the last one was District Manager. So I wonder if she's going to make another appearance. I did predict, actually, that she probably won't be in it that much. Jeff was in it quite a lot, but she's so strict. Unless she changes her personality, she's so strict that she's going to kind of curtail their fun, right? And our fun watching it. So I suspect she's going to show up now and again. Much less so than Jeff, if she carries on the way she was. But um, yeah, we'll find out if she's in this one. And yeah, let's get to it. A very special vendor. Just look at these beautiful oh, little Teresha. This is certainly an exciting product. Glenn, we all know that's your wife. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> Come on, Glenn. I appreciate the opportunity to sell my crafts in your lovely store. I thought she was going to say to sell my crap for a second. <laughs> beautiful stranger at our vendor fair. What's Come happening? on. <laughs> it's foreplay. Glenn, are you going to tell your <laughs> wife that you're flirting with one of the vendors? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, so Carrot trolling marriage. it again. What's that? It means you're allowed to have sex with people who oh, aren't Oh, don't tell him what that means. Are you cheating on Jerusha? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to call her. No, don't call her. <laughs> she Come on, Glenn. Don't answer that! You must know they're winding him up by now. <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> What makes a microbrew special? You know what? That actually looks kind of interesting. I think I'm going to check it out. Oh, because of the uh, oh. cute girl? No, because <laughs> it's our Disney. Our Disney. Ooh, he's back. Wow. Things are going well with Beverage Guy. That dating has changed so much since your time. How did you guys even Shia. send each other naked photos of yourselves? Uh, just in the <laughs> mail. Oh my god, so much effort. I made something for you. Just as, you know, a little thank you for, you know, the gift that you're giving to Glenn and me. That's animals, isn't he? For the personality. Oh, bird. Wow, intricate work. Yeah, it took me over 30 hours. Disturbing work. I don't know about intricate. No offense, <laughs> but it just really freaks me out. And <laughs> yeah. I do not want this in my home. <laughs> Or, to be honest, on the planet. Been a lot of trial and error. Oh my now, god, don't get really? The consistency boob just cheese. Right, you get boob yogurt. That's just gross. <laughs> oh yeah, boob cheese is fine. I mainly work with found milk. Found milk? Mm hmm You know, a mom leaves a bottle on the table at a food court and... But he steals she's it. She's okay with people taking a little off the top. Uh. Hey. <laughs> uh. <laughs> a nice cozy scarf from Jerusha's booth. But I get oh, over there fast, her. you know, before she sells out. <laughs> Go ahead. But uh... <laughs> oh, okay. okay, let's go. Bless her though, she can't attract any customers. Mmm, you know. Wow, it tastes like Bud Light. <laughs> Might take a little time for your palate to adjust. I bet it is. Or it might be Bud I bet Light. it's Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. One more scarf. You get a free other scarf. <laughs> oh, You're okay. <laughs> you can't even give it away. Trisha's sales seem to be picking up a little bit, huh? Yeah. God, I am so proud of her. Sandra's going to clean her so, out because she can't say no. Point comes easy to a lot of people, but not Jerusha. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's an inherent course of power that you wield over the employees, even even if you're not conscious of it. Yeah, sure, sure, but. You know, I think if I was doing something subconsciously, he is conscious of it. Come I'd on. know it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, I think, uh, <laughs> I think what I'm saying is just be careful how you use your power. Be careful how you use your power. Handsome. <laughs> I'm going to have to take away your Latina card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fake Latina, Latina, Latina now. Here you go. Take it. <laughs> Mm, Amy's the Miranda one. Guys, I'm the Latina one. Uh, Florida. I mean, I, I, <laughs> they don't even recognize her what as do Latino. You mean, I am Latina. That's a fact. I mean, <laughs> you don't even like spicy food. Quick tip just call him Poppy at the end of every sentence. You'll drive him wild. Okay, no, that's not a thing. It works. It really does. I've dated a lot of Latin men. A lot of them. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> He's just dated a lot of men in general. I never pressure you, so this is not my fault. I felt pressured to buy cookies from your foster kids. And then someone in Tucson bought a Vespa with my credit card. You made me take care of the tropical fish that you raised, even though I can't afford the tank maintenance. 
I had to take out a loan. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll never pressure you again. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> with birds on them. What about a scarf with a squirrel on it? No. I mean, I guess technically I, I could, but no, I just don't feel comfortable with that. She finally got an order and she doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Oh god, here we go. I want her to admit that I'm right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's about respect. This is more right. important that now than getting with her. Like no, 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 dude. I don't care. People aren't buying anything anymore. Earlier I was selling a lot, but now people are returning things. That That's weird. You're taking the pressure off, Glenn. Everyone's returning their shit. Can't help but kind of feel like a failure as a woman. You know, my... <laughs> Lady parts are all dried up. I oh. can't do needle point <laughs> up to the standards of these people. My hair won't hold a perm. When is it Jerusha's turn? Oh, oh God. <laughs> is Glenn going to surreptitiously buy it all? People love your scarves. What about my hats? Oh, on your hats too. Even more than your scarves. More? No, no, the, the, the same. <laughs> It'll, it'll get better. Jesus, she's intense. I, I promise. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastico. Si, si. <laughs> really? Awesome. Didn't quite catch it. It's something about getting together with the family. Are you up for it? Alex, the beverage guy. Oh, the beverage guy. Cool. Cheyenne, look up the Spanish Is term though, for Jonah? would you like to have sex in the butt? What? Why? Because that may be what you agreed to. Yeah, it's coger me. Milano? <laughs> Something like that. You guys don't sell beer like this. Oh, no. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. It tastes like Bud Light. Well, it's not. I'd respect you for charging $13 for $2 worth of Bud Light. And I'd appreciate that respect <laughs> if that's what I were doing. Okay, well. She's okay, definitely well. doing that. <laughs> Life is a highway. Doesn't matter. Just get as much mm. as you can for two hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can do that. I was going to the wrong store. <laughs> How much can I buy for two hundred dollars? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, um, Glenn. Let's find out. Come on, Glenn. Damn it, random man. <laughs> random man. Two hundred dollars is a lot to spend on candy. What's going on? He's so messing with my sales. That's want what's me going to on. No, it's okay. Mm. I, I just She's want gonna find everybody out. to be happy. No, my job. No God. business. <laughs> Hey. You did it to yourself, Glenn. You fucking idiot. That's great about you and the beverage guy. I love that guy. Really good guy. Oh, he's going to go over the top with the praise. Great guy. You said that already. Mm. <laughs> I'm the house. Oh, no, no, no. You're I, okay. I couldn't. It's going to make me real happy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Just walk going? off with it. Pop it in. To the nearest oh, trash can. What do you think? You wanted me to uh, eat it? Right now? I want to see the look in your eyes when that cheese hits your tongue. Yes, I will. I will do this. I will put this in in there. That's some works. random person's breast milk as well. Mmm. Really? Mm -hmm. That look. <laughs> that is such a relief. Mm. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> to be honest, it kind of grossed me out. <laughs> That's enough! Everybody here better get out there and start buying stuff from my wife! I feel like you're pressuring us. You're goddamn right I'm pressuring you. If you tell anyone I did this, I'll lie. And I'll say that I didn't. Now! Go! Go! <laughs> you move your ass! I have my medicine in that. I crush it up and hide it to trick myself. Oh, uh... Let me, let me help you. Is that for the gout? The yeast that I use is a descendant of the original Bavarian wild yeast. It's Bud Light! <laughs> Bud Light. It's a descendant of Bud Light because it's, it's Bud, Bud Light. Light. <laughs> Could you? He's going to wear her down. She's going to admit it. Fine. It's Bud Light. Okay. <laughs> I buy the cakes wholesale and then I mark up the bottles. Now, could you please stop telling everyone? Thank you. Now they can go on a date. For just being honest with me. That's <laughs> all I wanted. Now. How about I take you out sometime? <laughs> Always good to start off a relationship with honesty. You're still up for tonight, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. She would if she knew nice. where she was going. Um... Okay, I don't understand what you're saying. I really don't feel like I should be made to feel guilty about that, okay? <laughs> I was just asking if you're cool driving for an hour to this barbecue place I like. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. 
So you didn't understand anything I was saying? Like all the stuff about my mom and my family? Oh, no, no, no. That, that stuff, I totally... <laughs> I understood that. My little saleswoman. I'm thinking about experimenting with a badger on a sweater. Wait, it's not all going to be in the trash, is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought they were going to walk outside and it was all going to be dumped. That guy was speaking a bit quick, even for me. I mean, I can understand Spanish, like I said, but when it... Ask anyone who speaks... Well, I'm not going to say I speak Spanish. I speak it a little bit, but not very well. I understand it a lot better. Um, but ask anyone who has a second language that isn't like on par with their native language what it's like when someone just blurts it all of a sudden. So I felt sorry for Amy because I was having trouble there as well because you're not ready for it, you know. If, if When you're in the environment and everyone's speaking Spanish, it's different because you kind of tune into it, you know. But if they just suddenly switch from English to Spanish without any kind of warning, it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's really hard. And I was trying my best as well. Like I was like, oh my God, this is pretty quick. But yeah, it's something that you have to get used to. It doesn't take long. You know, you just, you have to prepare yourself. Like I'm, I'm in Spanish brain now. My brain's Spanish now and I'm going to listen to Spanish. So yeah, even though Amy probably didn't, well, she didn't understand a word, did she? But actually she probably could, I imagine, because she was speaking it a little bit, kind of, in kind of her way, <laughs> in kind of my way as well. I'm probably no better than Amy is. Yeah, that was a funny one. That was a good one. I knew Glenn was going to get someone to buy it. And of course he pressured everyone in the end and he, they all caved as well. Like. It's for the comedy, but there's no way that you could work with a boss like that in reality, is there? There's no way. But it's Glenn, isn't it? So it's just funny. Poor Sandra. <laughs> Sandra cleaned her out and then she had to go and buy some more. Jesus Christ. It was good to see Jerusha again. It was good to see her again. I was wondering how long it would take. But she was really good in the first episode we saw her. I think um, that was the, uh, yeah, the Golden Globes episode. But bless her, I felt sorry for her. And at the end there, I thought they were going to find it in, like, like I said, the skip. So, yeah, I was wondering when we'd see... Do we know his name? I'm trying to think what his name is. Do we know his name? I'm not sure. Amy's new interest. I was wondering when we'd see him again. I think they are quite suited. Well, now not so much because... Yeah, she should have just come clean. Why didn't she just come clean? I know she was trying to make out like she was a genuine Latina. Um, so she was, you know, faking it to make it kind of thing. I mean, she is, right? You don't have to speak the language to be Latino or Latina. But she can speak it a bit and she can understand a bit as well. So it's fine. It's fine anyway, even if you're Latino or Latina and you can't. It's fine, you know, third, second, third generation. It's to be expected. You grow up in a culture that isn't that... Co well, you grow up with your family, don't you? So it's kind of... You still have a part of that culture. But yeah, you could. Wherever, you, wherever you're born and wherever um, you grow up, really, that's the main thing. Wherever you grow up, you want to fit into that culture, really. You don't forget your roots, but your heritage, but that's just the way it is. You, you, you don't want to be the odd one out, so you want to fit in, right? It makes sense that it's kind of human nature to want to... That's why a lot of um, kids growing up don't actually... They can understand uh, the the heritage language of their parents perhaps or the grandparents they can understand it because they've been exposed to it at home but they can't speak it very well because they've never practiced speaking it and perhaps they can't understand it really really well because i think if you can understand it really really well almost like native level of understanding it you probably can speak it i imagine so i think they can understand it but not really really well maybe they couldn't understand like i don't know a dickens novel but the equivalent let's say so yeah maybe I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something a bit more complicated than just everyday language, you know, that a native would be able to understand, but maybe someone who's like third, uh, second, third, fourth generation, whatever, couldn't quite, you know, I couldn't. I, if you gave me Cervantes, for instance, there's just no way. Uh, Don Quixote, no way. Absolutely no way. I'm going to understand that. Did Jonah set up a double date? Is that right? With him and Kelly and um, Amy and... The guy, the delivery guy, I've got to learn his name. Is it in this description? In the description, it says a guy flirts with Amy in Spanish. So even whoever wrote that couldn't remember his name or, you know, maybe you haven't heard his name. I'm thinking he's probably got a, maybe not. I was gonna, did he have a name badge? I oh, know that's, they have them in the store, didn't he? He wouldn't have had one. I don't think. I'm going to have to learn his name though, because he's going to be in it again, I think. Well, <laughs> he definitely will if Amy's got to go to this family barbecue. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but that was good. I enjoyed it. Very good. Um, good one for me to come back to after however long it's been, five weeks probably now. I had an accident 
just for those who don't know yeah i'm gonna do another one tonight though but yeah i've got um an avatar reaction to do first the last airbender i'm reacting to that if you're interested and yeah i'll do another one of these after that one so hopefully you'll join me for episode number 19 see you then see ya bye